Oh. Lactose, don't be so rude. It's our new server member, Leone. Hey, hey, Leone, it's... Hey, hi. Hi, it's Jestix. I do not understand. What is a... Leone. Oh, I thought I thought you were Leone, our new server member. Uh, what's your name? I am Beta. I am the doctor's assistant. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I think you've made a mistake. I, I'm the doctor's assistant. I am Beta. I am the doctor's assistant. A S S. Yes, yes. I heard you. I heard you the first time. You, you don't have to spell it out. How could he do this to me? Hello, people who aren't backstabbing traitors. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't want to start the episode on a negative footing. But can you be believe that the audacity of that machine coming up to our house and claiming that they're the doctor's assistant when, quite clearly, we're the doctor's one and only assistant? I mean, all the things we've done for him. We've been at his beck and call for weeks now. Uh, so I've come down here to give him a piece of my mind, and as usual, he is nowhere to be seen. But don't you worry, I have a plan. We're going to go to the post office and pop a little note into his letterbox, just to get to the bottom of this. I'm sure it's probably some sort of mistake. That machine must be malfunctioning or something. Oh, as usual, a queue outside the post office. Are you uh, dropping a parcel off? No? Oh, hello. Um, do you work here? Uh, anyway, yes, I'd, I'd like to, um, I'd like to send a letter to the doctor, please. Yeah, you, you know the doctor. Dashing fellow. Lovely set of whiskers. Okay, um, if we could start... Dear Doctor Disappointment. Actually, no, scrap that. That's, that's, that's too nice. Um, dear Backstabbing Traitor. Okay, maybe that's, that might be a little bit too harsh. What about to Dr. Disappointing? Yeah, burn. Uh, okay. Um, I have had the utmost displeasure of meeting the walking chocolate bar that calls himself Brian or something, claiming to be your assistant. And I, I can only imagine that this is some sort of error in his programming, as, as we're your assistant. And if you could clear this matter up as soon as possible, I would be most grateful. Your forever uh, humble assistant, Jestix. Can you do that for me? Thank you very much. Right. I'm sure, I'm sure he got all of that. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm stressed out. I need, to, I need to relax. Could do with a nice bucket of milk, actually. Um, thankfully, I've heard that a new pub has opened, so we can go in there and grab a drink, just to calm our nerves a little bit. Um, oh, that's a steep old staircase there. Ah, here it is, the pub. Beautiful build. This is Peepop's build. Uh, let's have a look. Look at that facade there. It's fantastic. It's so good. Proper gives me um, vibes of like old London pubs. Uh, yeah, right, let's go and get ourselves a drink. Um, what, what? Not open yet. Are you kidding me? Oh, I went, how am I supposed to get a bucket of milk now? Oh, there's, uh, right, change of plan. Let's go and find Dave. I'm sure he's doing something interesting and fun and fantastic. Hello, Dave. Dave! Oh, he's not here. Someone said he was down here in the sewers doing some work. <laughs> my, my goodness, that is a lot of blocks removed. Um, but he's not here, and I don't really want to spend the episode in a sewer. Oh, it stinks. Oh, oh, it's on me. Oh, 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 God. Let me out. 
no, this, no, oh, it really smells. Oh, no, no, open the door. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, in the water, quick, quick. Oh no, it's swamp water, that's even worse. Uh, um, what are we gonna do? Uh, we need a bath. Um, I don't really want to use Dave's cauldron, to be honest. We're gonna have to build something. Uh, oh, hey, lactose. Um, sorry about the smell. Yes, I know, I know. I'm gonna sort it, don't worry. Um, quick, we need we need a time-lapse object. Um, what's in here? Okay, right, we've got the time-lapse ender pearl. Ready, three, two, one, bath time. Ouch. <laughs> Looky here! Hey there, little fella! Looks like old Justix is gonna have some cleaning up to do. And there we go. Time lapse done. Um, ended quite abruptly, as as you saw. Um, it's funny because I checked back through the footage, and the the creeper actually spawned twenty five minutes before I, <laughs> I saw it. Uh, so yeah, creepers be creeping, um, but the build is done, and I love it. I uh, don't get me wrong, but I absolutely hated building it because it's so fiddly. The amount of detail I've tried to sort of squeeze into the build and as you can see I've, I've added some bits I've added quite a bit after after the time lapse was cut short um, so looking at the outside we've got our little usual bushes and grass gubbins um, I built this tree now I've, I've never built a tree before so uh, comments appreciated I do I quite like it no I do like it um, I like that I've used the different pinks to kind of give it some more texture and I like the way it's lit um, it does look a little bit derpy from this side but maybe we can build something here that'll cover it up but yeah let me know what you think um, so we've got the carpet on the ground this is to sort of simulate where the petals have fallen down onto the ground and I've gone with sort of pinky flowers and white flowers there and the coral as well because it was pink and I thought yeah we'll throw that down and it'll go nicely with this purple as well just to kind of tie the, the colors in but the the build itself uh let's go into my face uh, duh. Woo. okay right get a nice look from back here 
yeah, I like how this uh, this is sort of fr framed itself with the trees either side. So yeah, initially I just had this single tree, and I've, I put the little one there because it kind of gives it a nice a nice outline. Um, but detail overload, absolute detail overload on this one. So we've got all the buttons up on these sort of ornamental pillars here. Um, just just gives it interest. I mean, without them, you, you yeah, it's a, a nice texture, but we've all seen it before, so it just gives it that little bit of of added interest. Now I was looking at sort of um, uh, doing a bit of research, looking at, at kind of Asian inspired uh, buildings or actual Asian buildings. And they had this kind of really elaborate gold guild work. So to, to sort of simulate that, I've used the, um, the the glow lichen over the top of the prismarine. And all right, from way right up close, it looks a bit pixelated, but from a distance, I think it gives that nice little kind of gilded feel. And we've got the item frames here to kind of give the impression of, of kind of Asian style writing. And we've got a little glowy campfire up there. Um, let's go inside and actually check out the... Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Check out the bath itself. So we go up the stairs here. We've got our little trees either side, a little welcoming entrance. And here is our bath. Uh, nice little peaceful uh, decoration at the back with the flowers in the archway a clock there so you don't lose track of time and go all wrinkly in the bath and a nice little banner uh, just give it a little peaceful atmosphere and we can go in and swim around and we've got the steam coming off to simulate the fact that the, the water's nice and warm and we've got these little seats on the side um, we have a mod on the server where you can right click a step and it lets you sit on it uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't work when the stair is waterlogged. So that's a bit of a shame, but it's a nice little detail in there. And if we go around the corner, there is an upstairs. And guess what? Yeah, I haven't done an interior for it. <laughs> we've, got, we've got this central room here. Um, I guess it would be like a towel storage room or something like that. And... Um, just sort of simple decorations some flower boxes as we go round and then we can go up right onto the top where we go to our third level not really utilitarian but it kind of it's it gives it that sense of grandiose that you want from a build like this so uh carpet just to spawn proof it because the lighting is a little bit high up here um but yeah very happy with this i've never done this style before so yeah, any any comments or advice if uh, you've got it for doing a build like this in the future? Let's have another another quick look round the roof. Now, yeah, that was an absolute pain. It's it's really tricky to get the kind of these curves as they they lip up at the edges. But I th I think we've done it. I think we've achieved it. Um, I mean, I could have gone really over the top and done one of these sort of everything, everything, every every layer. But I think maybe that that might have been a bit a bit too much. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think and we're all clean now um, So what to do next? Well, I have a few items. I'd like to drop off at Happy's Museum. So let's go and do that now Hold up hold up quick pit stop gotta show this off because it is fantastic I said Happy was gonna build on here and boy did they build on here. We've got this very awesome dock area look at the bright colors there really really going with the bright port theme and this container loader here over the top of the water there and I, I tell you my favorite part of this actually because um, I'm rubbish at terraforming um, is look at this wave break it's so simple but absolutely brilliant and um, Happy's planning to, to do the same sort of thing as the, on this bit around here as well so yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be great. Um, coming together slowly, the port. Uh, got a few more builds myself planned around here as well. And don't forget, we've got we've got guests coming as well to add their their stamp on the port. But now we're going to the museum. I've got a few things I want to drop off. Uh, I've shown you this build before, but I think since since then we've now got an interior that Happy's also done. And it's so good. It reminds me of like them um, exhibits you get in museums as you kind of walk around and you press the button and it says, Oh, a thousand years ago. Blah, 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 blah. But obviously for swamp water. So we've got this huge meeting room here. 
uh, as a, and the centerpiece of this is that is the map of the area, which is absolutely brilliant, and it really shows how far we've come in the series. And then you can sort of walk around the different exhibits. The story begins with the settlement of a very humble and down-to-earth nobleman known as Doctor Disappointment. Yeah, well, maybe we need to add a few signs to that. But anyway, we're here to drop off some stuff, so let's put the shulker down here. I'll send a happier message so he knows we've dropped it off. What are we putting in? Right, we've got the Doctor's spaceship design, the signal boosting device, a carrot that I named that I wanted to show him, to show him how much I loved him. Uh, anyway, um, the original time lapse button. Yes, very important that that goes into the museum. We've got the book. This is uh, when the doctor told us about the fuel for the spaceship. Another lie. Hmm. And we've got my phone, which eh, I don't think I'll be needing anymore. And a piece of dirt, which bears no bearing on the story whatsoever. So there we go. A few things for the museum. And I think that's it. I think we've done all we're going to do this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, liking and subscribing is optional, but very much appreciated. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>